Right now, your heart is beating with the help of 47,000-year-old DNA. Your immune system fights diseases using ancient genes, and when you sleep tonight, prehistoric DNA will regulate your circadian rhythms. Look in the mirror. What you see is not entirely modern human. Unless your ancestry traces directly back to Africa, you are carrying genetic material from our extinct cousins, the Neanderthals and Denisovans. These aren't distant relatives from millions of years ago. We're talking about genes that entered our bloodline just 47,000 years ago. When our ancestors encountered these mysterious people across Europe and Asia, for decades, scientists thought Neanderthals were brutish, inferior beings who simply couldn't compete with clever modern humans. But groundbreaking DNA research has completely rewritten the story. Our ancestors didn't just meet these ancient people. They fell in love, had families, and passed down a genetic legacy that shapes who you are today. These caveman genes aren't evolutionary junk. They're active, influential, and sometimes life-saving parts of your biology. They affect everything from your skin color to your immune responses, from how easily you tan to whether you're a morning person or night owl. But here's the mystery. How do scientists know which parts of your DNA came from extinct humans? What exactly do these ancient genes do in your body? And why did some Neanderthal genes help us survive while others nearly killed us? In 2010, scientists achieved something that seemed impossible. They sequenced DNA from 40,000-year-old Neanderthal bones and made a shocking discovery. These ancient genes were still alive inside modern people. According to research published in December 2024 by UC Berkeley and the Max Planck Institute, that interbreeding left Eurasians with many genes inherited from our Neanderthal ancestors, which in total make up between 1% and 2% of our genomes today. 1% to 2% might not sound like much, but in a genome containing 3 billion DNA letters, that represents 60 million base pairs of ancient human DNA. To put this in perspective, you share more DNA with Neanderthals than some modern humans share with each other. But the story gets even more remarkable. Recent research has revealed that according to Princeton University geneticist Joshua Akey, Neanderthals inherited as much as 10% of their genome from modern humans including several genes involved in brain development. This wasn't a one-way street. Our ancestors and Neanderthals were exchanging genes for thousands of years. The latest timeline research shows this mixing happened during a very specific window. As Priya Morjani from UC Berkeley explains, the genome analysis found an average date for Neanderthal Homo sapiens interbreeding of about 47,000 years ago, and that the period of gene flow was around 7,000 years. Picture this, for 7,000 years, longer than all of recorded human history, our ancestors lived alongside Neanderthals. They shared territories, technologies, and children. When that era ended around 40,000 years ago, Neanderthals disappeared forever, but their genes live on. Now comes the truly fascinating part, what these caveman genes actually do inside your body. And the answer might surprise you. Some of your most important immune defenses trace back to our extinct cousins. Research has shown that evolutionary biologist David Enard discovered in 2018 that living humans have inherited a disproportionate number of Neanderthal variants of immune genes that target RNA viruses like coronaviruses, compared with genes that respond to DNA viruses. This suggests our ancestors gained protection against ancient RNA viruses that Neanderthals had already encountered. When our ancestors first met Neanderthals 47,000 years ago, they picked up an entire immune system toolkit adapted to Eurasian diseases. Some of these genetic tools still serve us well today. Others have become evolutionary baggage that can cause problems. The key insight is that Neanderthals had been living in Europe and Asia for hundreds of thousands of years before modern humans arrived. During that time, they encountered pathogens that were completely foreign to humans who had spent their evolutionary history in Africa. By interbreeding with Neanderthals, our ancestors essentially downloaded a genetic antivirus program that had been refined over millennia. Scientists have found that Neanderthal genes possibly gave modern human protection against viruses, according to research from 2018 that concluded, inherited Neanderthal genes protect us against viruses. But Neanderthal DNA doesn't just affect your immune system. Every time you look in the mirror, you might be seeing the influence of genes that are tens of thousands of years old.
Research using data from over 100,000 people in the UK Biobank revealed something remarkable. Neanderthal DNA affects skin tone and hair color, height, sleeping patterns, mood, and smoking status in present-day Europeans. What makes this discovery so intriguing is the diversity it reveals. As researchers noted, multiple Neanderthal alleles at different loci contribute to skin and hair color in present-day Europeans, and these Neanderthal alleles contribute to both lighter and darker skin tones and hair color, suggesting that Neanderthals themselves were most likely variable in these traits. This shatters old stereotypes about what Neanderthals looked like. They weren't a uniform group of pale, red-haired cave dwellers. Like modern humans, they showed tremendous diversity in appearance. The influence on skin color makes evolutionary sense. Scientists speculate that sun exposure may have shaped Neanderthal phenotypes and that gene flow into modern humans continues to contribute to variation in these traits today. Neanderthals had been adapting to European and Asian environments for hundreds of thousands of years before modern humans arrived. When our ancestors mixed with them, they inherited genetic adaptations to local sunlight levels and seasonal variations. One of the most surprising discoveries involves how easily you tan. Research found that some of the other skin color genes inherited from Neanderthals include one associated with both the ease with which people tan and the incidence of childhood sunburn. These genes help explain why people of European and Asian ancestry often have different responses to sun exposure than those of purely African heritage. Perhaps the most dramatic example of how ancient human DNA still helps us today comes from the roof of the world, the Tibetan Plateau. And at altitudes of over 4,000 meters, the air contains 40% less oxygen than at sea level. Most people would struggle to survive, yet Tibetans thrive there. The secret lies in their DNA, but not from Neanderthals. It comes from their cousins, the mysterious Denisovans. According to research published in Nature, scientists determined that the ancestors of Tibetans and Han Chinese got the gene by mating with Denisovans, and this gene variant helps Sherpas and other Tibetans breathe easy at high altitudes. This is the first unequivocal proof that genes from extinct humans help modern people adapt to their environment. The gene in question, EPAS1, regulates how your body responds to low oxygen levels. As researcher Rasmus Nielsen explains, thanks to this mutation, they can cope with air that has 40% less oxygen than what most of us inhale, and they can live on a 4,000 meter high plateau where most of us would fare poorly. When most people travel to high altitudes, their bodies compensate by producing more red blood cells. But this can backfire making blood too thick and increasing the risk of strokes and heart problems. The Denisovan version of EPAS-1 prevents this overcompensation, giving Tibetans their remarkable high-altitude abilities. The genetic evidence tells an incredible story of ancient contact. The Denisovan EPAS-1 gene almost completely matches the one found in Tibetans, while being very different from all other humans. This gene is so unusual that it could only have come from interbreeding with Denisovans. What makes this story even more remarkable is that the Denisovans are known only from a few bone fragments found in a Siberian cave. Yet their genetic legacy lives on in one of the most extreme human adaptations on Earth. Your sleep patterns might also carry an ancient signature. Are you naturally a morning person or do you come alive after dark? The answer might lie in your Neanderthal inheritance. Research identified the role that Neanderthal genes play in human sleep patterns as determined by the body's circadian rhythm and found that non-African populations living far away from the equator today show a higher prevalence of a Neanderthal gene variant, which plays a role in determining whether you are an evening person. This makes evolutionary sense. As researchers explain, the natural cycles of night and day and their length, which vary enormously with latitude and season, are strong influences over our circadian rhythms. Neanderthals lived in northern latitudes for hundreds of thousands of years, adapting to extreme seasonal variations in daylight. When modern humans moved into these regions, Neanderthal genes helped them adjust to long winter nights and bright summer days. 
these sleep genes have modern medical relevance. Scientists note that human circadian rhythms are medically important because of the well-known 24-hour variation in blood levels of glucose, insulin, and leptin, which controls our appetite, and that disrupted sleep patterns have all been associated with diabetes, metabolic syndrome, increased appetite, and even obesity. This ancient genetic variant continues to shape how millions of people experience their daily rhythm of sleep and wakefulness. But here's a puzzle that has fascinated scientists. If Neanderthal genes were so useful, why don't we have more of them? The answer reveals one of evolution's most important principles, genetic incompatibility. Researchers discovered that areas lacking any Neanderthal genes, so-called archaic or Neanderthal deserts, developed quickly after the two groups interbred, suggesting that some Neanderthal gene variants in those areas of the genome must have been lethal to modern humans. Natural selection acted like a genetic editor, keeping the useful Neanderthal genes while ruthlessly eliminating harmful ones. This process created a patchwork pattern. Some parts of our genome carry high frequencies of Neanderthal DNA, while other regions are completely devoid of it. The genes that survived this evolutionary filter fall into predictable categories. Research shows that common phenotypic themes emerge across populations. Neanderthal intragressed variants have effects on skin and hair pigmentation, metabolism, and the immune system. These are exactly the traits you'd expect to be most important for adapting to new environments. This selective preservation explains why Neanderthal DNA influences traits like skin pigmentation and immune function, but is largely absent from genes controlling brain development and reproduction, where genetic incompatibilities would have been most dangerous. Not all scientists agree on guess on how much influence these ancient genes really have. Recent research from Iceland challenges some earlier findings. A study of tens of thousands of Icelanders found that most traits were better explained by association with modern gene variants, and that researchers found no statistically significant association between archaic DNA and freckles, hair color, eye color, or autoimmune diseases. This doesn't necessarily contradict earlier research, but it highlights an important point. The effects of ancient DNA may vary significantly between different populations. What matters in one group might be irrelevant in another. As geneticist Tony Capra emphasizes, the effects of Neanderthal DNA traits are detectable, but they're modest, and warns against overemphasizing their importance compared to social and environmental factors. Whether large or small, these ancient genetic influences tell us something profound about human nature. We are not a pure species that evolved in isolation. As Rasmus Nielsen puts it, we exchanged genes with a lot of other lineages that existed 100,000 years ago or 50,000 years ago. We are in some sense mongrels made of DNA from many, many different lineages of hominins. This mongrel heritage might be the secret to our success. When modern humans left Africa, they encountered environments they had never experienced. Frozen tundra, tropical islands, high mountains, and disease-carrying organisms their immune systems had never seen. By interbreeding with locally adapted human species, they gained genetic tools that helped them colonize the entire planet. The Neanderthal and Denisovan genes you carry today are reminders of those ancient encounters. They represent love stories written in DNA, survival strategies passed down through millennia, and the complex evolutionary dance that made us who we are. Every time your immune system fights off a virus, every time you adapt to a new sleep schedule, every time you tan in the summer sun, you're experiencing the legacy of humans who lived and loved tens of thousands of years ago. The Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA in your genome isn't ancient history. It's a living, breathing part of your biology. These discoveries have fundamentally changed how we understand human evolution. We're not the sole survivors of an evolutionary competition. We're the inheritors of a genetic collaboration that spanned continents and millennia. As recent research confirms, most non-Africans today inherit 1-2% ancestry from Neanderthals, making us all carrying members of this ancient genetic library. Your caveman DNA isn't holding you back. In many cases, it's still helping you survive in a modern world. The next time someone calls you a Neanderthal, take it as a compliment. Those genes have been battle-tested by evolution and found worthy of preservation.
They represent humanity's greatest strength, our ability to adapt, survive, and thrive by learning from everyone we meet, even those who lived 47,000 years ago. Your story doesn't begin with your parents or grandparents. It reaches back to moonlit encounters between modern humans and their mysterious cousins, written in the DNA that still flows through your veins today.